Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Frida Kahlo, or is it Kahlo? Anyways, take three fingers from the top in the center and put a dot. And from that dot, we're going to draw an oval. Curve line down, curve line over, curve line up, and connect. Come down on the left-hand side and draw a slightly curved line down to the left. Come on the right-hand side, slightly curved line down on the right. Come back to the left and draw another slightly curved line. Connect. Starting right here on the left, I'm going to draw a curved line off the page on the left. Come on the right-hand side, curved line off the page on the right. I come right underneath that line and I draw baby circles all the way across to this part of this of this side of the right hand side now I come in and I draw a straight line straight line straight line jump over straight line straight line straight line straight line okay come over here on the left hand side we're going to draw a curve line out curve line in connect on the left Come on the right hand side, curve line out, curve line in, connect. Come back to the left and draw a straight line down, curve line down, curve line up, connect. On the right hand side, straight line down, curve line down, up, connect. Starting right here on the left, I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six baby circles. Some of you might draw more, some of you might draw less. And starting back on the left, I'm just going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line connect. These are overlaps, so I'm going to come up a little bit to do the second one. Wavy, wavy line connect. Come up, wavy, wavy, wavy line. Wavy, wavy, wavy line. Keep going, wavy, wavy line. Wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect. Starting right back where my first dot was, I'm gonna draw a slightly wavy line to the left, come back to the dot, slightly wavy line to the right. Jump over and come down to this section on the left. Draw a slightly wavy line on the left. Come over to the right. Draw a slightly wavy line on the right. Okay. Frida had some very definitive eyebrows. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on the left. We're going to do curve line in, curve line out. Come back to the left and we're going to take little tiny cur uh, straight line, sorry, following our line all the way across. Okay? Come down, draw me a curved line on the top, curved line connect on the bottom, right hand side, curved line on the top, curved line connect on the bottom. Come back to the left and put one two curved lines inside on the left, one, two curved lines inside on the right. I'm just going to draw a straight line. Then starting on the left, I'm going to draw a curved line up, little curved line, little curved line. But I come right here to the middle and I draw a curved line down, over and up, and then I come back on top and go one, two curved lines. Okay. Oops, I forgot my eyelashes. Come over here on the left 
and draw little straight lines on the left and little straight lines on the right. Okay? Let's see how we're going to color her in. Okay, Frida had a very distinctive way of dressing. She dressed in the, the uh, national dress of the Mexican people. So the first thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to color her face and I found a face color for tan. If you don't have tan, you could use a light, light brown. She had dark eyes, so I'm going to make her eyes black. And she wore her hair very tightly drawn back, so make this black. And then, pretty much everything else, you can do any colors you want. I'm going to give her real red lips. But she used to draw, uh, she used to wear really bright colors. So we'll give her some blue-green earrings. And these are her flowers. She used to wear flowers in her hair real ornate flowers and I found a pinky red so I'm going to make all this pinky red but again like I said you can pretty much use any bright colors as you want I'm coming down and giving her yellow green beading or necklaces and a blue shirt now you could cut her out or you could fill in the background with like tropical flowers or monkeys or just about anything. Okay, let's see what she looks like all colored in. Okay, here's Frida all colored in. What's really interesting about her is just recently um, they opened up a closet that had her wardrobe. All the dresses and hats and boots that she wore when she was alive. She died really young. So you might want to Google that. Frida Kahlo's wardrobe. Okay, bye-bye.